Okay, so we've arrived at the Dollar Tree, and as you can see, it is snowing like crazy outside. So I thought I'd just film this intro from inside the car. So this is a Dollar Tree we haven't been to yet. Let's go inside and see what new stuff they have. Before we get started, I just wanted to mention that this video was actually supposed to be a what's new at the Dollar Tree. However, when I walked in, I was shocked as I walked around and saw the mess that this dollar store had. So I did manage to do a little bit of shopping, but it was mostly a tour of the messiest dollar store I have ever been in. This place was a mess. So stay tuned if you wanna see the messiest dollar store ever, stay tuned because we will show that and we will do a little bit of shopping, so stay tuned for that as well. All right, let's get started with the tour. As soon as we walked through the front doors, they had this little area set up with their brand new little spring items. They were all little gnomes and little mushrooms. Oh, there they are, they're so cute. Um, yeah, so I guess they're starting to get a lot of their spring summer stuff in. And so here we go. Here's our first nice little mess of wrappers. And as we continue on, there's more stuff all over the floor. There's some artificial flowers, some kind of a bucket or a planter. And as you can see, they had their gardening stuff all up already, getting ready for spring, summer. And boxes, boxes, and more boxes. And their party supplies. And some more mess on the ground wrappers and some more wrapping paper. And then we come around the corner here and there's more boxes and just a random hat. <laughs> and then heading over to the kids book area and coloring books. So I just took a quick peek to see if there's any interesting books and more mess on the floor. And found all these wonderful adult coloring books. Look at all these, you guys. Oh, I was in heaven. I love these. There were so many different ones. Then, of course, your crossword puzzles and stuff like that. So, and then they had this cute little book there, little unicorn book, and some more just random office supplies and some just some more pens. Those were some cute pens, emoji pens. And great section for teachers. Look at all the teacher stuff. Very, very nice. The other dollar store did not have that, so I was quite impressed with that. So, and then off to the area with, uh, yeah, some more mess. <laughs> As you can see, more things all over the place, just randomly put. Messy, 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 just all over. There's a broom and stuff on the floor and more plungers and stuff on the floor. Yeah, just, wow, more just random stuff, papers, just what a mess. What a mess, and some toys on the floor, and yeah, just random stuff there, left there. But we did manage to take a quick look at the toy section, of course, to see what's new in toys. There was a game, What Am I? Sounds like a fun game. And then these little clapper hands, fun little gift for a party, and they had some really cute My Little Ponies, and some more, actually, she was kind of strange looking, but Little Mermaid dolls, and just some random, oh, they had these squishies, they had tons of different ones, little dessert squishies, and these actually looked, I don't know if those were real My Little Ponies, but they sure did look like My Little Ponies. Oh, and look at the little unicorn squishy. Tons of squishies. And just some more random Lego blocks like they usually have at all the dollar stores. And then this nice little area here in the middle of the store filled with tons of boxes. <laughs> just random boxes. There's baskets. There's all their candle holders. I couldn't even get in there because of all the boxes were in the way. So I just kind of filmed what I could in that area. Those were kind of nice, those little candle holders, wax. I think they're like wax, wax, uh, like melting the wax. And more boxes in the way, more box. Oh, there's something on the floor again. And more boxes, look at all these boxes. Like you couldn't even walk around the store because there was just boxes everywhere. How's a person supposed to shop in there? I don't know. This one really just, 
really shocked me. I was actually quite embarrassed for this store and how messy it was. You guys haven't seen anything yet, just wait. And just some more random boxes piled up, trying to look at the, uh, the glasses and the Tupperware. Oh, more stuff on the ground. And hey, some more boxes, some more mess. Here's the sock section. And just stuff thrown all over the place. And more boxes and junk on the floor, scarves on the floor. And just more random boxes all over the place. People just throwing stuff wherever. Oh, more stuff on the floor. What do you know? And more boxes in the way. Oh, there's a, a scrubby on the floor there, a loofah. And their little bathroom area. They have some really nice bathroom stuff. I really like their washcloths. They're actually good quality. There's some cute little, little bathroom accessories, little soap dishes. Thought those were kind of cute. And there's their balloon section. Oh, and here we go with the makeup section. One of my favorites, but I couldn't look at anything because it was a total disaster. Look at this, you guys. Oh my, like what a mess. Look at this. What a mess. People just threw everything all over the place. I couldn't even shop. I couldn't even look at any of the makeup. It was just, it was a disaster. It was just disgusting, just disgusting. Stuff just thrown everywhere. Here's all the pharmaceutical stuffs. That was just all a mess as well. Just everything just thrown everywhere. Look at this, what a mess. Very unshoppable, very unshoppable. Just a mess, oh, just stuff all over the floor. Yeah, there's more boxes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just boxes everywhere. Oh, here we go. Here's some more mess in the um, hair accessories. And, oh yeah, and this here is uh, one of the uh, basket stands that was toppled over and just thrown about. And more boxes in the way and just hair accessories all over the floor, all over the bottom of the shelves. Just junk everywhere, mess everywhere. Just, oh my goodness, just crazy. And they had this new line of makeup. I've never seen this before. Beauty benefits. Yeah, so if you guys know anything about it, leave a comment below. I've never seen it before, so this was new to me and they had a whole section to itself, which was actually clean. And hey, some more mess here in the food area. Stuff thrown all over the place, of course. Stuff all over the floor. Come around the corner here. And there's just more random stuff, just place wherever, a basket thrown wherever. And then I thought I'd take a quick peek at the dishes area. I love looking at the dishes to see if there's anything new and exciting. I really love these dishes. They're just so beautiful. I'm gonna have to pick those up next time, I think. I like the teal ones, they're very pretty. And some more mugs and bowls. Really, really pretty. Really good quality too. I really like their dishes. They're actually good quality and they're really nice. So I'll have to get those next time. And then the candy section, which was also a mess with stuff just thrown all over the place. And there's some root beer gummies, more junk on the floor, more boxes in the way. And oh, Icy Squares, I love Icy Squares. They're one of my favorites, I love those. And just some more stuff, more candies. Oh, and, and they had these too, just like random bags of candies. You could get like jujubes and jelly beans, just kind of random stuff there and some dish towels. And also one of the employees too was putting out stuff and he had his music just blaring. His headphones were so loud. He was listening to Van Halen and it was just blaring as he was putting stock out. How unprofessional. And just some more Tupperware and some glasses. And just some water bottles, water, sorry, water bottles. Those were cute little glasses too. And some more of the kitchen household accessories there. Okay, so we're back from the Dollar Tree and wow, <laughs> what a mess. But I was able to actually pick up two bags of stuff. So I'll go through each bag and show you what I purchased. Um, as you could see, obviously, in the footage that that Dollar Tree was just gross and messy and it was really hard to shop in there. So it was really hard to get into the shopping mood 
and to buy some stuff but I did manage to buy some stuff so I'll go through it with you and I'll show you what I got okay so let's start with the first bag and I purchased some more of these washcloths they come in a two-pack I purchased these before they're actually really really good I'm really impressed with them so I got another package of those just in white and then I also picked up a dish towel a kitchen towel and I've purchased these many times I think actually most of my kitchen towels are actually from the Dollar Tree they're actually really good quality I'm really impressed with these so got another one of those and then in the book section there I was quite impressed with their selection of the adult coloring books so I did have to pick up some more of these. So this one here is actually a color by number. I thought that was actually really, really cool. Cool idea. We adults still like to color by number. So there's all the colors there. And then as you can see, the numbers. So yeah, so color by number. And there's just different designs. And yeah, I really, really like that. That was really cool. And then I got this one. I love butterflies, so I picked up a butterfly one. And that one has some really pretty, pretty pictures in there to color. So I really like that one. And then the last one was this one I found. It is Relax and Rewind, and it's all beach themed. <laughs> so if you can't go to the beach, you may as well color the beach. So. Here we go, just some random kind of flip-flops, pineapples, seashells, just some random beach stuff that you can color and pretend that you're at the beach if you're not. <laughs> or you could take this with you and color on the beach if you're going on a beach vacation, I guess. So yeah, so I got three of those, so really, really like those. Okay, oh, and there's one more thing in this one. I got this, actually for my son, because he's actually a really big cookies and cream fan. And I haven't seen these before. It's a Twix cookies and cream. So try that and see what that tastes like. That looks really good. So see if he likes that. Okay, so bag number two. I had to pick up some more aluminum foil. So we grab that. And then we got one of these. I don't know how well this will work but we're gonna try that out. And it's just a uh, silicone, uh, or si sorry, silicone uh, oven mitt to pull your pans and that out of the oven. So we're gonna try that and see how that works. Hopefully it doesn't melt through and burn our fingers. <laughs> but we'll try it out and see how it works. I'll let you know. And then I purchased a lint roller because we always need lint rollers wearing black t-shirts. So, Got one of those, I always use that. And then I said in the last video actually when we were at the Dollar Tree that I want to try their knives to see how well they work. So I ended up buying a package of those. So that's a four pack of the stick knives. And then this one here. This is just a two pack, so it's just a little bit bigger. But yeah, I thought we try them out, see how they work. If they're sharp, if they're not. And then I purchased, oh, this is actually the last thing, is just some sea salt. So, and yeah, so that is about it this time around. I guess not as much as the last time because as you saw in the video, that um, it was quite a mess and it was really hard to shop in there. So, yeah. So this is my haul this time around. I hope you enjoyed it. Everything here came to $15.10 with everything. So, all right. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the video. And check out some of my other Dollar Tree and thrifting videos. You'll see them, the links popping up on the screen. So I hope you enjoyed this video and coming along and we'll see you all next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.